Today, I'm very excited to show you two of the most iconic sunglasses ever made. We're going to be comparing and contrasting these two German design sunglasses, which have a lot of history and a lot of future as well. So sit back and relax and let's take a look. So these are the Kazal Legend 745. These are actually my personal pair of sunglasses and they are my favorite sunglasses from my collection from a style perspective. And this style is instantly recognizable. It's so unlike kind of any sunglass style that you'll see in the world really. You've got the very geometric angular top contrasting against the round vintage style lenses. And this is a style that's been worn by a huge amount of people in the music industry, particularly in rap and R&B. And typically you'll see it worn in gold. So where this is silver, it would more likely be gold hardware. For me, I've toned it down a little bit with the silver and black, the matte black especially. And I find that just a little bit more kind of subtle, a little bit more sleek, a little bit more stealthy than the kind of more blingy look, which you'll see on a lot of the wrappers. There is certainly a talking point and they're the sunglasses that when I wear them, get the most comments and feedback from people who are interested to know what they are and where they came from. And this is a real sunglass for an enthusiast, someone who has maybe a few different pairs of sunglasses, wants something that, that is that little bit different that stands out from all the rest. Maybe not the easiest style to wear all the time. Um, I was thinking of filming this video outdoors and it didn't really suit that kind of environment, but in an urban environment, it's perfect. And with a suit or casually, you can wear this style. It's really, really cool. So let's compare that against the Porsche Design 8478 Aviator sunglasses, which are, in my opinion, other than maybe you could argue the original Ray-Ban Aviator, the most iconic aviator frame ever made. Certainly the most worn and sought after by celebrities. A huge amount of celebrities have worn this frame over the years and it's featured in a lot of movies. So whilst the Kazals tend to be more prominent with musicians, these tend to be more prominent with actors. The aviator shape, especially because it's oversized, is very eye-catching. You've also got a relatively narrow bridge, so there's a lot of lens here very wide lens with very little separation between the two. So this is obviously in the gold, and I think with this kind of look, the gold is the way to go. It does come in other colors as well, but an aviator in gold, I, I just think you kind of can't beat it. One of the best times I've seen this worn is in the movie Black Mass by Johnny Depp. It really kind of added to his character. It really finished his character off, and it's really interesting how glasses do represent your personality, and I think in that movie, they really represented his personality. A really cool feature, and one of the reasons why these sunglasses became so popular in the first place, by the way, this is literally one of the most sold sunglasses in history, is we have an interchangeable lens system where the bridge flips up. You see that there? The bridge flips up and the lenses can be easily removed. So these come as a set with a blue lens as well. That means that you'll have the brown lens for kind of full sunlight and if you want to wear these in half light when it's not so sunny, but it's also not nighttime, you can do that as well. I'm just going to fit these lenses now. You'll see how quick it is. And this just latches down, pops into place, and the lenses are completely secure. And now you have a completely different look. And this lens, by the way, is fabulous to look through. When we're comparing the two sunglasses, so the Porsche ones against the Kazals, whilst I think the Kazals win in terms of originality, the Porsche ones win every time in terms of the lenses. And I guess you kind of expect that. Kazal are more of a fashion brand. Porsche are an engineering company. And these lenses are extremely good lenses. Very, very clear to look through. They're made by a company called Rodenstock, one of the, the best German lens manufacturers. Well, I mean, there's only really two German lens manufacturers, but one of the best lens manufacturers in the world. It's a really nice, comfortable tint in here. Uh, I, would, I would wear these a lot, I think. But the brown lens that was in there originally has an anti-reflective coating on the back. You can see that purple sheen. So that stops reflections from your eye hitting the back of the lens and reflecting back in, which causes a ghosting effect. When you have that anti-reflective coating, you, that never happens. The Kazals, on the other hand, are a lot more basic in terms of the lenses. There's no anti-reflective coating on the back. Fairly simple CR39 lenses. They are 100% UV protective, but they're nowhere near as clear 
um, and protective as the Porsche design lenses. In terms of comfort, it's a pretty close call. Both are very, very well made frames. Like I said, both made in Germany. Very, very high standards of quality. Both easy to wear all day long, I would have said. For me, the Cazals maybe are a little bit lighter, just owing to the fact that they are a smaller sunglass. So I guess this one maybe is a tiny bit more comfortable for me, but then having said that, they are my sunglasses and I've kind of worn them in a little bit. I reckon it's pretty equal in terms of comfort and in terms of durability as well. The build quality of the frames is about equal. So both of these sunglasses have an awesome history. They're both very original, very iconic frames. If you're looking for a pair of sunglasses which really make a statement and have a heritage to them, are well made, you can't go wrong with either of these sunglasses and the two pairs that would add to anybody's collection and give you something a bit different. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I love sunglasses and I love unique sunglasses especially. And today you've seen two of the most unique sunglasses ever made. If you've got any questions about them, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give us a like and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye bye.